Hello, as an introduction, I am Andrew Smith, the Module Chair for TM257 Cisco Networking Part 1 and Module Team Member for TM357 Cisco Networking Part 2. This brief video is just an introduction to the new NetAcad experience. Many of you have used NetAcad in the past on modules such as TM129. Some of you may have never used NetAcad before. This will be relevant for both groups of students. Also, you will discover that in the past, we always added students on bulk at the start of the module when tutors were allocated. Now, as a student, you can join at any time. Assuming that you're logged in to your module site, do pay attention to the study calendar. This is very important no matter what module you study at the Open University, especially on TM257. One of the things you can do is scroll down and you can then get this link here where you can then sign in to the NetAcad content. So I've created a specific student account where I've got a student who has never logged in before to NetAcad. So it's going to be a very simple Gmail account that I've got. You can see I've cleverly named it and then I am going to sign up. So I'm going to sign up here and obviously we are in the United Kingdom. I am going to say because we're based at the Open University that we are in Buckingham or Buckinghamshire and then I am going to use a default year of birth of January 1970 because obviously I'm not going to tell you my year of birth and this is a pretend account so it's going to be a O U student so actually I'm going to put it as an OU student and I'm going to use that email and of course I am not going to tell you my um, password um, you can see my browser automatically wants to pick up all sorts of profiles I've got biometric security on this and then in I go uh, okay I should learn to type as well but that's yeah part of life isn't it we all do this and let's see if I can get it on a second go excellent no it really doesn't like my password today so I'm going to try one more time and hopefully that, that should work excellent and I'm going to save it just for my browser because I say I've got biometric security you're going to have to follow the agreement you are going to have to accept to con continue I would advise you to receive communications the Cisco will let you know about updates it will also let you know about outages they don't spam I've been working with NetCare for 25 years they're going to give you the information that you need to know it's less marketing more opportunity and it's mainly informational so now we're just going through this process and hopefully if I go into my learning now we will find the course if that didn't work on the first go there is nothing wrong with trying that link again and now actually joining that course so I'm going to put it across I'm going to get started and you should see now that it's actually logged in as me and it's now pushing me into the course so sometimes it may take two tries only because you've had to create an account or it's trying to connect that with your account but now if I actually refresh this screen on the right hand side which is just a slightly different login profile you can see the CCNA content from the Open University Important thing to point out also as you go through your studies, even though we will add you later on, if you just select all weeks in the study calendar and just look ahead, you will see when we expect you to do other study activities and you will see the links to the other enrolments for the later courses as well 
on this platform. So if you actually scroll up ahead, you can see the final exam and guidance about the final exam, which is listed in the TMAs and the EMA and the module guide. And you must read them. Okay, and then you can see the link here to the next course, the switching, routing, and wireless essentials, which you can also enroll into as well, or your tutor may have already added you. It's important that you do this because one of the things you're going to have in this course, though it will be empty at the moment for the student, is a grade book, and these grades count towards your TMA grading. And you will also discover, even though you cannot see it until January, you will also see that there is a final exam as well that will appear here, even though you can't see it between you really should read this and why a survey. And that appears from the 1st of January. And you can take that test as well, which counts towards TMA. And there is one for the next module, the next component that counts towards the EMA as well. And if you do that final exam and pass at over 70% and do the end of course survey, you will be entitled to a digital badge. And we will also be degenerating certificates of completion for you as well. Obviously, you're going to get used to sort of studying this curriculum on any browser or your smart device, and you can read through this. There is a lot of content, but one of the things I will point out, it does point to a couple of things called practice exams, and it will say that the practice exam has got lots of content. That is because we do not want you to take it. It is hidden from you. It is hidden from you here in the primary um, assessment route and you can see everything that is hit yeah you can see everything that you should do the checkpoint exams and the final you do not need to do any of the other exams we'll get students that are still ask on the forums those of you that have watched this video can point out to them that you don't need to do that a couple other useful things to watch out for is yes we do have day schools in this module and we will be um, opening up um, bookings for the day schools early in January these day schools are compulsory you must attend or you must do the alternate learning experience to do the alternate learning experience you've got to be serving in NATO armed forces or in an equivalent discipline you have either got to be disabled or a carer of disabled or somebody who lives somewhere that you're not going to have the geographic opportunity to reach. And we'll be looking for sufficient proof for all of these far in advance. Do not leave it to the last minute. Because it's compulsory, if you don't attend or don't participate, it could potentially be a fresh hold fell for you. And I had to deal with four or five students last year that in spite of all the guidance, instructions, email and support we gave them, still neglected to participate in one of these experiences and did not gain the final grade. NetAcad is, as it's an evolving platform and it has been updated in August 2024, we are aware that there are one or two bugs with the new platform. That is normal, it's a major platform update. We are working with Cisco on this. If you spot any, let us know in the forums or let your tutor know. We're here to support you, we're here to enable you, and we're here to make sure that you get the best possible experience. You can either let us know via the Cisco NetCAD email or you can let us know on the forums or you can let your tutor know. Otherwise, this should be a fairly straightforward and seamless experience. There is a lot to explore within the NetCAD platform and hopefully it should be a fairly seamless and very straightforward experience. Thank you very much for listening. I am Andrew Smith, Module Chair for TM257 and Module Team Member for TM357. Thank you.